You can see we have the shock on us. I got a little worried at this moment, but then I noticed. Hey, welcome back to the channel. All right, it's time for War 1 of Season 34. I'm back in for Loki. For those of you like, what? You're back? I made a video on it explaining why I will be leaving, or the plan at least is I will be leaving at the end of this season for my vacation to take an extended break, not from my channel, just from the Alliance. But I've decided for this season, I'm going to be making videos. It's kind of like what I say at the end of my videos. If something fun or something that we can all learn from happens, hopefully both. And in this one, actually all three wars this first week of the season, that definitely, definitely happened. Let's jump into this. We've only got three fights, but there's some cool stuff to get to. Now, this first node, you know, just is what it is. It's this hit me, I dare you, static defense. If the, you know, if this fight goes on long enough, I could start getting shocks on me. Uh, I was advised to bring in uh, White Magneto, that way I could place the pre-fight, get those passive stuns on Hit Monkey, and then I think I did place uh, the pre-fight on a couple other nodes later in the fight. Uh, and then I was given the option of bringing in a pure Shock Immune or Archangel. I decided I wanted to go with Archangel. I'm very comfortable fighting Hit Monkey even without any pre-fights and non-horsemen, you know, just Archangel versus Hit Monkey. I've shown that in videos going back a very, very long time now. Uh, so I'm very comfortable with it. And so I decided to go ahead and bring an Archangel feeling like I'm going to be boosted really high. I think I even had on the bleed portion of the recoil tree. Yeah, I did. Uh, and then I had, um, it's not suture or whatever. It's the one, the, the mastery that, you know, makes it so you don't take very much damage from the bleeds. And so that's why you can see I'm doing fine, even though I'm boosted as high as I am. I also did the, uh, the regen, combat regen there. So you can see uh, with the pre-fight too, it's increasing our ability, accuracy. We never even had to worry about shocks. As a very, very, that, I think that's as simple as it's going to get in tier one war. Now, we're gonna get into the kind of cool stuff here. Immortal Abomination, I know he's gonna be on the thumbnail. It's really exciting to get to use Immortal Abomination. He's one of those champions that for me, I'm like, this is an awesome, awesome champion, so well made. He just hasn't been, you know, the 10 out of 10 best option for singular nodes. That's why you haven't seen a lot of tier one videos, but this season, you're gonna see him, you're gonna see him. We're gonna take a really easy fight and then a more complex fight and talk about him as we go. So uh, we have this power focus too. The defender will be going, it's an increased combat power rate. You, uh, sim subs here. This is one of those ones where you often hear people like, the you know, the place doesn't make sense. I have a feeling like they just had a sim sub. They didn't know where to put him and they had other options. So that's why he's here, but it's not gonna increase his power rate. Um, Hurt Locker, that's fine. That actually works out really well for a mortar abomination because I'm gonna be throwing the SP2 and then my SP1 to refresh those poisons and then here's what I want to talk about and, the, and the, it's going to show up bigger in the next fight but the node the global is this mystic dispersion whenever a buff expires or is removed on the attacker then this will kick in given 100% chance to gain a miss passive that lasts for four seconds and then goes on cooldown so obviously this is not good we want to avoid this now immortal abomination this is why you're going to see him so much in my opinion is uh he also benefits from the offensive side of this tactic and he does not gain buffs, making him like a, you know, Spider-Man 99 or, um, oh, I can't believe I can't Red Guardian. There we go. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get into this. This is going to be real simple. It's a nice warm-up fight for me. Like I said, the next one's going to be there. Oh, there it is. Defiance for the attacker. The immunity to buffs. I decided to put on the uh, poison side of the recoil tree there. So sped that up. We don't need to watch that. You know how to do that yourselves, I believe. So I'm gonna put on the power start one. Really, that's for the next fight, which is a strike counter node. Uh, but we're gonna see this here. Now we're just gonna get into that SP2. And I think it it starts his like toxic aura. I don't remember. The thing that happens is SP2 and SP3. I don't really recall the names. It's not really the big of a deal, but it's going to start putting more and more poisons on uh, Sim Sup. Once he gets to 10, then we are going to go, uh, we're gonna go unblockable too. But you can see he's already almost dead. That's how much poison damage we're doing, how hard. Uh, we are hitting here. It's really the poison damage. Look at this. And then if we had had the time, we would have refreshed it with the SP1. We would have gotten more poisons going, which keeps that uh, toxic aura going too. So it's really, really cool. Uh, I do have some videos on Immortal Abomination. I was so happy when I uh, pulled him and ranked him to ranked. I think I did it without him even being awakened. So now this is definitely the tougher fight, right? This is the strike counter fury. Hit me. I dare you static defense coming up again. This fight takes too long. I am going to get that shock on me. This is going to come up. Also, there's masochism, which, I was, which you're going to see kind of gets in my head here, or at least it causes me to make some uh, mistakes. Then there's also the mystic dispersion. And last but not least, Man-Thing is often difficult because of 
uh, and you know, especially tier one war, they are running five of five mystic dispersions. But because I have that defiance tactic, I'm not going to be gaining any buffs. I don't need to worry about it. And uh, so I, 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 they had that initial parry there, and I was kind of just getting a sense of it, like how much healing is going to be happening here, how's this working out? And right now I'm like, this is totally fine. This is totally, totally fine. I threw my SP2 now. I personally think I maybe made a bit of a mistake there. I should have let um, gone down on power for Manthing a little bit, because you can see right now, I'm not taking great advantage of this. I'm not landing a lot of poisons like I would normally want to be. I'm not able to just keep hitting and get to my uh, SP1 to refresh it. And I started, I wasn't worried at this point, but I'm aware I'm about to get some uh, shock on me. How bad is this going to be? Now, I know that we're going to pause this at some point, one of the really other cool things is that when you would gain a buff with this uh, offensive tactic, not only do you not gain a buff, but you get that really nice energy resist. Now, check this out. This is very, very cool in my opinion. You can see we have the shock on us. I got a little worried at this moment, but then I noticed it's not doing very much. I've got that really nice energy resistance. I've totally got this fight. Uh, maybe it was right here. I realized after I had failed that SP1 evade. Uh, and I just got to go in and land an SP1 or another SP2, and we are golden. We're going to win this fight. The shock is not doing that much damage. I'm going to do plenty, plenty of poison damage. Immortal Abomination is a really beefy champion. Uh, this was supposed to be, you know, the tough fight. This was a little bit of testing. B McG had the great theory. There, I'm pausing it again because there we have two shocks. You can see it's still not doing that much. And this was all B McG. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sire even told me this was B McG's idea. Uh, what a great strategy. If I take that fight again, it will go much, much, much more smoothly. Uh, I truly believe that. And if you're interested, because I know the thumbnail is probably looking pretty cool. And I, I really like the Mortal Abomination. I've done some videos on him. But if you're interested in seeing him in Tier 1 War this season, I happen to know B McG. Check the links in the description. He's I, he's on what I call the MCOC uh, Illuminati, my rankings team. Check his channel out. He's going to have videos showing some awesome, awesome gameplay, multiple fights uh, with Immortal Abomination. He's got a rank 4, 6, 200, I believe. Make sure you check that out. Uh, we came up on the wrong end. This one that's gonna happen sometimes, but uh, so congratulations to PBT and well done to Mad Cat, Karate Mike, and B Manny. Let's go ahead and check out the season recap <laughs> uh, before we close this out. All right, obviously with only one war and only three fights, uh, Mortal Abomination took two of them, AA took one. I'm really curious to see if I get to use any of those again the rest of the of the season. I already happen to know how the first three wars go. We are not going to see them in any more wars for this first week. I'm gonna see a lot of Omega Sentinel. Really pumped up to show you that. Uh, three kills, zero deaths. I, I, You guys have heard me say this before. I don't care if I take 10 fights or zero fights. Uh, I want us to win and do well, and I want to feel like I'm helping out my team. I was on vacation this week, and so uh, this is what it was. I'm never going to complain about these three fights, especially when they're new and novel and something that I can show in a video where we're learning and having a good time. So I'm a happy camper. Let's just make sure we get on the right side of the board. And like I said, I know how this week already goes, so I'm a happy camper. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in War 2. I hope your season is off to a great, great start. Take care. I hope you either learned something we're entertained, or even better, a little bit of both. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.